Hey guys, it's Strike here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to do a nice gradient map technique on your pictures. And as you can see right here, we have a picture saying tutorial that I uh, threw together really quickly. And uh, right now it has a texture on it, but you guys don't need to worry about that right now. I'm going to be making another tutorial in the future on how to make your uh, textures look really nice and everything. And um. Also, right, as you can see, the text right now, it also has a drop shadow, but you don't need to worry about that. It's really simple to do that, too. You just have to add drop shadow and then turn the spread really high. And um, these other layers also are going to be in another tutorial on how to do a different effect, which I'll be showing you guys later. But um, this is the final image you guys are going to be seeing, and because um, right now I have the gradient map on. But what you need to do is... Um, you need to uh, click on adjustments and then gradient mapping or gradient maps and uh, it'll bring up a box but right now I'm gonna take off the gradient map just to show you guys what it's gonna look like and um, just hit the layer it's pretty much what you wanna do is you wanna have either a white to black color you wanna have a white to black color and um, that's gonna allow you to put the gradient mapping on it and uh, if you have any other color, she's gonna show, just gonna sh eh, just gonna show. <laughs> sorry for that. She's gonna show the regular color, and it's not gonna show the gradient mapping. But if you have it at least to, from like a grayish color, it will show it. So uh, I'm gonna delete this gradient map right here, and uh, I'm gonna put one on. So uh, you put you, what you want to do is you want to put it above the layers that you want to change the color of and make it look really smooth and nice and over here you click adjustments and you go to gradient map and you can choose which kind of gradient you want which I think this one right here is the best because it allows it to look nice and like a it has like a, a very old look to it but uh, these over here it's blue of course you can see um, yellow to orange color green and then I usually don't use these because there is a lot of different colors which mess it up like that one which messes up a lot but um what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the gradient that you would like and you click OK and you come over here and you go to overlay and you can choose if you want to have the effect uh, very like not being seen a lot or being seen a lot which I usually have it all the way up and uh, different different gradients have different effects so like you can have the blue one on which makes really nice like blue texture color backgrounds which I use that too a lot besides the purple to orange but uh yeah very simple tutorial but very helpful in making big projects like YouTube backgrounds and partner backgrounds and um since this one was so quick I'm probably gonna be making another one very soon and maybe even doing it with my other friend on Skype and stuff and doing a dual commentary but um yeah I think that's pretty much it I mean you can you can do different uh, kinds of overlays like vivid light linear light but those don't look as great as the overlay or the soft light and also one other thing I forgot to put is that um you can make your text also look really good by clicking on the text that you want to make like nice looking and by clicking blending options and if you go to blending options on the side you're gonna see gradient overlay and this gives your text a really nice black to white looking like feel to it you can also use different gradients for that too which it, it depends on what you like to see but I usually use the black to white one which gives it a really good feeling really nice like glossy texture look and um, I think that's pretty much it I mean you can add brightness c contrast but I mean that that's not really exactly needed your backgrounds will look still look nice just even with the uh, gradient maps uh, so yeah thank you guys um, it's wrist strike or whenever you're watching this strike but uh, yeah uh, see you guys later peace